Previously on Revelations 2. Claire Redfield, you're coming with us. Where have I been taken? So much suffering. You don't even know what to be afraid of yet. Who are you? I am the Overseer. Please, send help. I'm here, baby. Please be alive. I don't have any parents. Over there. How do you know? That's one thing they're left out of the brief. Hey, does anyone even have there? Your daughter's name is Moira? She's dead. What? Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations 2. I'm Burning Dogface, and this is Episode 2, Contemplation. The onlooker is, in a sense, a sharer in life who hangs on to the living. Mother of Falls! My life is awesome! Just like Kate, you two men! Fun shit! Go on without me! We'll regroup later! You heard him, kid! Go! You stay the hell alive, Fisher! Yo, Fernandez. Check it. Is this the place? The Bossed? Whatever? Yeah. Where life begins. <sighs> that Thompson's? Yeah. I'll be examining this. Oh, both! Keith! Okay, too. Oh, I knew it was you guys. Right. <laughs> uh, any requests? up in the middle of the woods. How about you? Some kind of rundown prison. Gabe. Gina's dead. <sighs> Shit. Thompson's gone too. Yeah, but I remember to take his bracelet. Eddie would want me to find out how it ticks. You chopped off his fucking hand? Sometimes you have to make the hard choice. Come on, let's see what's in this building. I mean, technically, Moira, we don't know that they don't come popping right off once you die. Sorry about that. I just needed to make an adjustment. Let's see. Last time we discovered, uh... Last time Barry and Natalia reached the radio tower, only for us to discover that, uh... Welcome to the brink of true oh. fear. The Overseer. What do you want? Put 
What happened to explore this building? Odorous chemical. Off brand Jack Daniels. Not bad. Oh, hey, cool. Yeah, uh, we learned that this is actually six months before Barry gets to the island. Fishing village map. What's this inventory look like? <whistles> Scarce. Odorous chemical. Chemical with an unpleasant smell can be used to make decoy bottles. Hmm. Wait. Okay. I gotta show you something over here. Man, I hope Fisher's okay. Neil? Neil was with you? Yeah. We got split up on the way here. By the way, I'm calling it both of those guys are dead. I mean, you know, I like them well enough, it's just, let's face it. Well, what did you want to show me? Here for a while, I might as well take a look. Ammo check, not great. <laughs> I'm a child. You see, I'm finding all kinds of things. We also learned from Natalia that Moira here is apparently dead in the present. So that's not cool. Not even a little bit. Wait. Okay. But you stay there. I never checked in there, which is what made me think to look for stuff in the first place. Alright, alright. What do you want? I better meet up with Moira. God damn it. I'm gonna be shouting across the entire way again. I mean, the, the jukebox as it is should be attracting every zombie on the island. But, you know, whatever. Hang on, what's this? Ooh. Okay. Decoy bottle. Follow me. Yeah, right. All right, at least they're not putting them in the ceiling anymore. Honestly, I was, uh, really, really expecting, uh... Is, you chopped his fucking hand off? Uh, no. One of those things took care of that for us. No, okay, that's only something Natalia can do. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and assume that Moira is not really dead, because... Resident Evil is many things, but it is not, like, abjectly depressing. You know, I've never played one where the good guys didn't win in the end. Heavy field. So much for the theme. I'm just gonna walk out to the sea and it will be great. Roger that. Alright, this is a Natalia building. Fine. Nope, I cannot simply walk out to sea. Oh yeah, that fucked up tower we saw in the preview. I wonder what's up with that. I'm actually kind of lost. Where the fuck am I? Oh! All right, let's do this. Sorry about the delay, thank you uh, for waiting. Shout out to Clunk279, who commented that uh, the story of this game is almost unnervingly like that of Resident Evil Code Veronica, which I did not know because I've never played that one. You know... Stop me if you've heard this one before. Apparently, Code Veronica opens with Claire Redfield getting kidnapped by shady gunmen and uh, waking up on, you know, an, a deserted island, a seemingly deserted island, inside of an abandoned prison filled with zombies. Helicopter. That's certainly never getting us off this island. It's never going to be that easy. The fuck is this? <laughs> this zone is full of tuna casserole. How unhelpful. really, really want us to make use of these, do, don't they? Do-ent they. Yay. Lures enemies in, then explodes after a set amount of time, causing damage. Alright. That's, uh, considerably better than just being a decoy, I suppose. Do you think you can fly this? Once I repair it, there's not enough voltage. It needs a new battery and some fuel. Oh, and we're gonna find exactly what we need in this shit dump. From my experience, yes. Help me look. Bingo! What an odd looking bird. I mean, it's kind of a heap, but it's in considerably better condition than it should be, just sitting out here for God knows how long. I 
didn't notice that Moira didn't open the doors when you selected her. Makes less sense. Claire? I guess we're not alone out here. No, I can't sense them anymore. I'm just here to drop this off, don't worry about that. Damage level two. Don't mind if I do. You know, it's got 700. I just take that off, in fact. Oh! You cannot have got multiple parts in the same category. Good to know. In that case, I'll just put it back. You know what? Pardon me a second. Google helpfully translated Wasik as Wasik, so I have no idea what it means or what language it's in. I set it to auto detect and it set it to Lithuanian or something. Luxembourgian, that's what it was. I set it to uh, Russian, nothing. And this door is just a low poly texture. Or low res texture. Low poly is for 3D things. Well, that's a battery. I can see it right there. So, where do things go bad? Oh well, I guess it's a give up situation. You know what? There. this again? Yeah, that's right. Didn't notice it required two. Strange. Well, I did just discover this. Let's do this. <laughs> Well, I don't see any of the living dead yet. Right now, I'm just de uh, delaying. Oh, hey. All right. to the front, the wide way, barrel, barrel, bottle. That's so many goddamn bottles. Can I have to throw that, distract them? No? Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, I didn't think that would work. Fine. Fine. No! 
I spit on your grave. Too far, I could get. I got that. It really is all about the vibrations. I'm sorry if that doesn't make any sense. Expansion bag, Moira. Okay, just checking. It isn't like optional depending on who uh, and whoever you happen to have pick it up. Expansion bag, Moira. Oh, good. Now I have a proper second inventory. Uh, okay then. Good. You can hold all these bottles for starting. Oopsie. I kind of need that. Probably need that. How is there no bottles of alcohol back at the bar, by the way? We've got the battery. Now, where's the fuel? Whose friend you were. That is definitely a chainsaw. No, no, that is, uh. Pedro! Huh? Don't scare me like that, Claire! Look, check out what I found. If you see any weak walls, I bet I could drill through. My man, Pedro! See if there's anything we can use inside. I don't know how you do that with a drill, but... Follow me. Yeah, right. God damn it, Moira. I'll do it myself. Uh... Okay. Well, I don't believe you're really dead for a second. Right now, I believe it. I saw that. No, she just cannot pick up a gun. I don't know, maybe it's offensive to her beliefs or something. Let's finish this episode off by picking up a new gun and regretting reading that lore entry, all right? I'm just going to go ahead and take this. I don't think you need this anymore. Thank you. MP AB50. Rapid fire machine pistol with low firepower yield for each bullet. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, Derek Floyd informed me that in real life the Makarov is actually known for being very reliable, which is why they continue to use it. You know, Soviet uh, manufacturing or not. So shout out to that. Uh, Traveler's Diary, October 11th, 2008. So I found this little island on a dusty old book, and it's not listed on any maps or anything. So I thought, cool, a chance for adventure in an uncharted island. I'm so there. Chartering a helicopter to get there wasn't cheap, and as soon as we touched down, the locals seized the chopper and took me into custody. So not cool. And now I'm locked up in this dirty old room. These dudes are whacked. I can't explain how, but you know how you just look at someone and something's not right? Yeah, I made your bad vibes here. October 12th, 2008. So these dudes have been debating what to do with me. How about letting me go? I've been telling them over and over. I just came for the adventure. They're not listening. This is so not cool. October 19th, 2008. 
So apparently these dudes can't wrap their heads around the idea that an outsider could find this place. Like, hello, it's the technology age. What could a can't a person find if it looked hard enough? You know, I'm starting to feel like coming here wasn't such a good idea. December 10th, 2008. Two goddamn months and I'm still here. This is bullshit. Something bad is happening. I haven't seen anyone and I can't see it, but I can hear animal-like growling. What the fuck? They haven't forgotten about me in here, right? Right? December 19th, 2008. No food, no water, got some rainwater, it helps. No energy to even catch a rat. Not gonna last. December 26th, 2008. Water, 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 God, please, water. I'm so sorry. You deserve better than that. And as I said, with the prophecy fulfilled and me regretting reading that, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations 2. Later.